plan on Long Island to deputize some gun owners during an emergency is generating controversy. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan covers Long Island and reports the Nassau County Executive is now taking applications from citizens with gun licenses. Lines for pistol permits inside Nassau Police Headquarters. 80 citizens so far have answered the call from County Executive Bruce Blakeman, who's looking for those with gun licenses who qualify to become provisional special deputy sheriffs. I didn't want to wait till an emergency to try and scramble and find people. You have to vet them, you have to train them. Blakeman wants a database of those willing and who pass muster. 21 to 72 years old, U.S. citizen of Nassau County, will consent to a full background check, drug testing, fit for duty doctor's letter, and a valid pistol license. If there's a Superstorm Sandy event or an act of terrorism, we would use our special deputies to protect infrastructure. Reaction was immediate. It's a horrible idea. What is this, a comatose posse here? You don't want people running around with extra guns in, in a place that's so populated. Helping each other is the best thing can be done. So you support this? Uh, of course, 100%. The Blakeman administration did not seek, nor was it required to seek legislative approval, nor did it consult with union officials. Both Nassau Police and the Sheriff's Department declined comment. We're not the Wild West. Nassau County has the best trained police force in the nation. Minority leader DeRigi Witten points to Nassau's 2,500 police officers and calls giving private citizens badges without clearly defined rules dangerous. It's our taxpayer money that would have to pay for it. So it's, we are liable. The county is liable. I'm hoping I never have to activate them, but it would be foolish not to acquire the database ahead of time. The provisional deputies would be paid $150 a day. From Mineola, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.